back to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Uh, today we are going to finish the drawing from yesterday of the flowers, and I'm doing it in a uh, waddle. Well, during at uh, ink tense pencils, but I'm using it as a I'm using my pencils as a, as a watercolor, and uh, you can't. Let me add a piece of paper under this. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> but I've got like a, a Dollar Tree cutting mat, and that's my what I'm using as a palette. And uh, I'm using the image that we drew yesterday. And uh, I'm using a number nine oil and lang nickel water brush. I got these at Michael's. I actually really they the Zen brand, I guess. But I do like it. Um I got water off on the side. I got a clean tub and a one to rinse my brush. This is what we're using. This is the cover of the in ink tents pencils. Um, excuse me. And here, all I got is this set of 24. And we're going to choose the corners. We're going to scribble over here on the palette and then paint with it. I'm going to use the fuchsia. Sun yellow, and if you've got, use what you've got. Um, you can use regular colored pencils for this, even or uh, regular. I mean, what do you call? Field green. I think that may be it. We'll see. But that's my plan: is to use these three. And I've got puppies out playing, so y'all bear with me. And like I said, I'm just going to scribble. Just like so. <coughs> Hush! <coughs> Ain't nothing out there. Scribble my sun yellow. You can do this with magic markers also, or not magic, um, like watercolor based markers. I make watercolors out of. That's what you got. Use them. I'm just going to start with, and I'm going to use the uh, 0.3 graphic pen from uh, Master Touch uh, from Hobby Lobby. Uh uh! Hang on, I gotta go get a pup. Got one trying to escape outside. No, maybe not. Y'all can't go outside as much as y'all like to. Okay, I'm going in. I'm just going to wet this with this clear water to begin with. And like I said, I'll have to keep an eye on puppies because I've got the door open. And they are trying their best to get the honeys outside. And I'm just letting it do its thing. Pretty much. And I'm just going to do the yellow the same way. Okay. 
I'm going to add a little bit more pink. Now I'm going to, and I'm going to fat dry, and I'm going to move around a lot. So y'all just bear with me. And then I'm just going in and dropping in some yellow. And I am rinsing my brush between times. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm skipping, so... I'll just bear with And you just want it like a shine. You don't want it too thick on water. That's fine by the meals. I don't know the meals. <sighs> okay, I had to stop the video for a few minutes and husband decided it was time to uh, warm the dogs so or the puppies and get them shot. So I had to stop. Uh, while I was stopped, I went ahead and inked, or did my ink work on it, where I can see it better, where y'all can see it better. And, uh, tried to get, and then I just went through and erased it all. And a dog got on it. I mean, that's what you get when you have dogs, and you leave your aunt work out, and leave the dogs unattended. Anybody else do that besides me? So, I'm going to uh, start back to what I was doing. And I'm just going in and just wetting my petals. And then coming over here getting calm. And like I said, you can do this with red watercolor, uh, colored pencil, uh, watercolor pencils. I just got these and just wanting to play with them. I have found out that I do like them. I love the vibrance of the corners and all that fun stuff. And we'll probably use a little bit of colored pencils on this also. So, no worries. That's enough to do. And we may go ahead and just use some watercolor on it. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to come out. Uh, I never do when I start a project. Um, the puppies is not happy. Just so y'all all know. They all sleeping. Or some of my sleeping, should I say? <sighs> and see why you wait until it dries. And with the ink gate, ink tents, I have found out that these is pretty. Once they get down and they got water on them, they ain't moved. That can be a clutch. Hush! Sorry. I got loud dogs. She thinks she's... Every little thing she hears since she's had babies, she has to intensify it.
So I can use the map today. I can use the map every day. <laughs> Why am I saying? I like my naps. And I'm just going in. I'm just letting this run wherever on that floor right now. Um, I'm just getting my my basic coat down, and I'm gonna move my book this away. I mean, I believe in moving artwork. That's why I don't use it. It's never stationary with me because I want my I want to be able to move my stuff. And I'm just going to wet this. Bring in some pink. And I am uh, taking some water off of my brush when I rinse. My phone's dinging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> Tootsie. Hush. But see how much more vibrant the ink tense is than water, just red watercolor. And this is why I love this. And they have the watercolor pans. I've got a set of those and we'll play with those. In the near future, um, sorry, I got a hold. And like I said, I'm just moving my. I need to get all of it. All of this one. And here's another one I didn't get. It. I know, just like the same pen I was using. A little bit, okay. You just put a lot in here.
need to wake up, folks. And I've got a towel like underneath my water, as I can tell. And I do that about anything I do use in painting. If it's oil, I use a paper towel. I I'm going to do some oil videos here pretty soon, and then and some acrylics and whatnot. Uh, I like the rocking oils. I just don't like all the fumes and the mess they make. And kind of like the same way with acrylics. I like to work with them, but I don't like the big messes. A lot of the makes. I like the color. I like colored pencils because that is no cleanup. That may be shavings. And uh, I like. Um, watercolor because if something, if you do get paint on you or on something, it usually will come out because it's watercolor. Now acrylics and <laughs> all that don't come out as easy. Take it from somebody who knows. Victoria. Okay, now I'm going, I am going to add to my palette, because I have decided that I don't like this green. So I am going to add a blue to the palette, and it is Sea Blue 1200. And 
and I'm going to mix it with the green, with the field green. Hush. And here's the blue. And to mix it, just like you would water corn, I'm just going to make a little paw out beside my paints. Well, I know which ones it is. And if it gets terminated, it ain't no big deal. We may add some yellow to that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Maybe. And I'm just going to end and paint me. Remember what Paul I'm using. And I think I should use a little bit of blue. Little leaves. Let me just go back over it with when they dry. And I'm just going to paint all these little leaves, leaves I've got going on. How's y'all's weeks been going? I mean, <coughs> my week's been going. <laughs> That's all I can say, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn my book back around. And I like to work in this uh, the bounded books, if y'all ain't noticed, because I don't have a place to put all these. But I've got some new stuff that we're going to work with the next few days, or the next few weeks. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going in and doing my big leaves. And first of all, I'm going to put down my yellow. And I still got a little bit of green in my brush, but that's no big deal. You can tell that, I mean, I'm just doing a light yellow. I mean, when they, when it dries, it, it lightens up. And, I mean, watercolor does that. If you've had any dealings with watercolor whatsoever. And if I get the stems, no biggie. I mean, they'll kind of blend on in eventually, maybe. Oops. Oh, my laptop's loud. This app's loud today.
Now I'm doing this in a nine nine by twelve um, mixed media pad from uh, Master Touch. If y'all's wondering. <clears throat> okay, now the center of the flowers is. I'm going to mix what I'm going to do because I don't see any. Nope, that ain't it. That is definitely not it. Baked off 1800. And I'm just going to smear this in. But watch what I'm fixing to do. And I am writing all this down. Well, I can put it in on a blog post for y'all. Okay, I am picking up the yellow, the same yellow. And then I am going to bring in some of this off brown. And it's going to give me kind of an orangey, brownish look. But it will give me a, the color I'm wanting. This. And you can use a uh, yellow opal if you have it. Uh, Bon Sienna. This is what this pack of pencils has. And I'm just kind of using what's in it. I used to think you have to use every color you own, but you really don't. And this is, you know, if you just have like the 12 pack. And I'm going to do some stuff with the 12 pack. Um, in the next few weeks, um, uh, with the, uh, colored pencils, and, uh, with not giant, uh, ink sketch, ink tints, I want to call it ink tints. Okay, I'm mixing the, uh, fuchsia and the yellow together to do these two it's going to give me a, the orangey that I'm looking for but I don't want it I'm just doing it real light I mean it's real watered down because I don't want it too dark because we're going to go back over it with yellow to kind of I'm just using this as my shadow, shadows. Um, I've got the uh, prism color. Something gold. Uh, water set of 12. And then I've got the Arteza 72. And then the classic of Fable Castells. Welcome pencils that I'll probably work with in the next few weeks. So y'all come back and see us. And I'm using the same brown that I use for these. For this. And now I'm going back in with the yellow, the same yellow. I mean, we're still using the three basics. We have added a couple to get the, like I said, when I started, I wasn't thinking about, I was just trying to get the ones I needed, but, and when I swatched it out while I was off camera, I'm like, this ain't what I'm wanting. Have I been doing this? Sure not. I 
And this is going to be a pretty long video. I just say it. I'm going to have to just dry a little. Okay, I'm taking some more of this blue. And I think I'm going to take some yellow. I might have to add more yellow. Yeah. Okay. Let me clean this green out of here. And this is all I'm doing. I'm just scrubbing on this placemat and I'm using the rough side of the placemat. I have found out these things work wonders. They work great for uh, taping your watercolor paper to the down. Uh, makes great palettes. You can use the side of them for palettes if you need to. Like I said, I'm in love with these plastic cutting mats from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know how I ever survived without them. But I'm going in and just going down and doing my stems. This green. And if you want it a little bit darker, add just a tad of a blue to it. And I'm going to go a little bit darker, but this is fine for now. <coughs> well, I just screwed up. Well, you know what? I'm just going to mix all this together. If I need more blue, I can always mix it. I think I'm just going to scrub some yellow right down here. A little easier to get. And when you get done, if you want don't want to save your corn, you know, the corners you used. And that's one good thing about the watercolor. You can save your corn for years to come. Uh, you can uh, save it just like that and carry it. I mean, just let it dry. Uh, or you can just wipe it off with the paper towel. And you have your palette ready for next time. Or if you paint in a big painting, just let it dry. And you can always come back and re-wet it. I mean, I've got one that I'm using for a painting. This is what it looks like. And I'll just go back and re-wet it. I mean, that's one thing about having so many palettes and I mean you can cut them down to half size uh, this one's a full size one but like half my books on it <laughs> no big deal you know to me that might be to some of y'all but it just kind of gives me what I need when I need it. Um, I don't like, I mean, I use my palettes in my, my travel paint pans. I keep a half of sheet in my backpack that I carry with me. If that tells y'all anything. So I can do it I can mix on the go, and if I'm not finished with the painting, I'll just leave it. And I'll have my corners ready to go. And 
And I'm just brighten all this up. I'm not doing too good of a job. <laughs> so, no, um, it's been a day. Oh, I got live video starting. That ain't me. I used to think more cars you have the better off you are but really and truthfully this makes you learn how to mix your corners and all um, I don't have the intense blocks that's on my wish list. Okay. Now, these little stru- Oh, I see that. Leaves to paint. Duh, Angie. See? I'm trying to get this finished. And I'm just going around. <clears throat> okay. Now this part here where I was fixing the thing. I'm just going to run my brush over the black. And just kind of outlined it. Outline it in the green. Okay. I am needing some orange. Need flowers. And I'm just, I just mixed up some more pink and uh, yellow. And it's just not coming out like I want them. Then again, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm going back over this with all the pencils.
Okay. Now, we've got with this dry, and then I'll come back tomorrow and finish it with colored pencils. I hope you enjoy this video because I know this video is already long and I missed a stem. So I'm going to paint it while I'm finishing up. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you are enjoying this new adventure of mine that I'm taking with y'all. And y'all have a blessed day. And uh, I'll catch y'all tomorrow for the colored pencil part of it. Bye.